Hello, in this video we're going to talk about Windows 10. Windows 10 is the operating system and pretty much the brains of the computer. It is what tells the computer what to do, when to do it, and so on. We are going to start by exploring the Windows Start menu and the Windows Taskbar. In the lower left hand corner you will see the white Windows icon, which is the Start button. And if you put your cursor on it or any other icon, there will be a pop out indicating what that particular button will do. I'll click left click once on the start button and it's going to bring up the start menu. You have four icons right above the start menu. And this is by default. If you have made changes, they may be different. Do not be alarmed. The first button is the power button second button is the gear and it is the settings of the computer where you can customize windows as you would like and then we have pictures which takes you to your picture folder and documents which takes you to my documents the app list lists all of your applications installed on your computer in alphabetical order and then we have the start buttons which are called tiles. These can be manipulated and moved around and we will cover that in a later video. But this is where you can put all of the applications you use on a daily basis for quick access. If we click on the Windows button again, the Start menu will go away. This next button, Search Field, is where you can search for dif different applications on your computer so I will type in speech cat and it will bring that program up and give you options of what you can do with it. That is the search field. The next buttons listed here are buttons that were pinned to your taskbar by the computer manufacturer. We have Internet Explorer, File Explorer, which is extremely important as it gives you the list of all files, applications, and more installed on your computer. We will cover this in more detail in a later video. Then we have the Windows Store and the rest of the buttons that you see were installed by the computer manufacturer. And so to get rid of buttons on your taskbar that you do not want to use, if you right click on that icon, you can unpin it from the taskbar. It declutters your taskbar and gives you applications that you use regularly. For example, I do not use Microsoft Edge as my internet browser, so I will unpin it from the taskbar. And on my desktop, I have the Google Chrome icon. I'm going to right click and I am going to pin that to taskbar. Then I can move the icon. I can do so by holding my left mouse button down and then dragging the icon where I would like it to be. This button is Microsoft Store and I do not want that on my taskbar. We move over and you will see the status of our computer. The first button is the battery icon which indicates to us the status of our battery. Then we have the Wi-Fi icon, which indicates how many bars we have connected to our Wi-Fi and what Wi-Fi network we are connected to. The speaker icon will be addressed later on, but this is a very important icon as it allows us to access Windows Audio properties. Then we have our date and time, and it's important to make sure that your date and time are correct. And then the final button is our Action Center. You will sometimes get notifications here of things that you need to do within Windows. Now, this up arrow here before these buttons shows us hidden icons of programs that are running in the background. And that is it for the introduction to the Windows Start menu and the Windows Taskbar. Thank you.